afternoon or good morning if you're watching this after it's streamed or you're in a different part of the world. Hi, thank you for joining us. I am Favorabus and I will be the chronicler for today. We are playing today in the solo adventure of Sai Fen um, for, well, that is uh, played by Lusumbra. Hi, Lusumbra, how are you? Hi, I'm so excited to be back here and playing with you. <laughs> It's great to see that your health is back. For anyone that doesn't know, she was sick last week, so we had to um, kick her out of the game. No, that, that's, I'm just joking. <laughs> she took a break so she could uh, recover, and we played, and now we are going to do whatever happened while our team of Balu and Bo were exploring the jungle and trying to survive, uh, deciding whether to eat or not the babies of a <laughs> what was the name a pig deer and uh well now it's going to be whatever happened with siphon yay <sighs> all right um before we get started just if anyone that is watching is not aware of this by now we are playing with omnidem it's a system developed by ampersand studies specifically by, by fourth Hather. that's the um game creator and uh, we are testing how it works in different scenarios. Right now we're playing pirates around um, 1850, 1849, something like that. And we are just seeing how it works, whether to change things or not. Actually, those who follow Eternal Blade know that we are already making some changes, but let's continue, shall we? The last thing that you, I mean, I, I assume that you watched what they played <laughs> last yeah. time. So you're aware of the conversation you had in the um, in the cabin you had with Bo and Balu when each of you told your story, why you got to be where you are right now. And um, maybe not exactly what your plans are for the future, because, well, you in particular, you are staying in the ship as far as I know with the crew. Uh, but in general, what's your view on things? Um, then you were asked to pay for the service that they're giving you that's uh, getting you to this island with some help uh, that helped translate it into a very poor map that your <laughs> that your party got that somehow actually did help them at the end. Yeah. So you were doing a couple of things, mending things, uh, trying to fix and help them repair. Uh, you notice that they don't really pay a lot of attention. <laughs> they, uh, Meta is just remembering that map, yeah, <laughs> in the chat. Uh, you realize that they don't really pay a lot of attention to the sheep. Like they um, maybe don't see them, maybe don't care, but you find a lot of things to do. So you work pretty much all day. However, before we get to port, tell me, how would you like to, to do all this? All this time that you're working there, what's your attitude? Do you want to talk to someone? Do you just ignore them and, and do your work? Uh, do you want to pay attention to anything in particular? I don't really want to talk to them. I want to eavesdrop at everything they are saying. I don't trust them. I feel angry at them about the attitude they they had towards Boat at the beginning and that I don't like their captain. I feel angry at them. And if someone talks to me, I, I won't I, I won't react in a aggressive manner. Um, but I'm not going to be like cheerful and as welcoming as I am with the crew that I'm already at. Okay. So in general they don't talk to you a lot. Um, in one side, because they know that you are not like on the same side as them. Mm -hmm. And also because you're a woman and mm -hmm. for them, that's not common. Um, actually you do hear several comments saying that that's not a good idea. What are they thinking? Uh, every time that someone passes you, they like make an effort to act like they are pulling away from you or, or saying things or trying to like break the curse that you're bringing them on the ship, things like that. Uh, maybe they even curse a little bit at you. In general, they don't act. Um, a couple of times that they were, that they came 
close to doing things to you or saying things to you, someone else intervened and, and mentioned, hey, remember, what's the deal? Uh, you're not supposed to touch them. You're not supposed to, to make more problems. In general, you, as you mentioned, you don't uh, talk to them. You hear a few conversations and actually, let me think. So if you want to see if you hear a, like a interesting conversation, let's make a fortune check. Could be right. one in six or could be a coin. Let's do one in six using the six as the lucky number. Okay. And I didn't have that. All right. So the first day, nothing really important. Maybe a few comments of um, how they are anxious to get there because that island is... Um, more like theirs, you know that this ship is one of the few ships that work for this uh, Sir Marin that you met. And you know that he works or he has contacts and pretty much oversees the black mar market of this part of the world, at least this section of the seas. Um, but you also know that not all of them are like his crew. That's what you figure out so far. Some of them are actually members of another crew that they are on this ship because they were needed for certain specific um, package they are delivering, things like that. So mm -hmm. they are not really like a, a crew. They are not friends or uh, friendly with each other. They just work. Okay. There are a few that are close to each other. You notice that. But besides that, nothing important. I want to pay attention to these people that are not part of the crew, like they are not the main crew. And I would like to like get close to the few that look more like my crew, like uh, that they were either slaves or that they are people that are not British. That, that's my main, my main um, what is goal? goal to find people that are not British. I think for what I'm understanding is that most people here on the Sir Marlin uh, crew are mainly British by the way that they treated us or yes and no so one of the things that you learn is that they don't believe or they don't share the uh, view of the British Empire saying that only British people should be free or something like that Mm -hmm. uh, some of them are actually like you, even uh, some like Bo or like Valu. However, since they weren't captured at any point and they weren't slaves, they think that that's like uh, their destiny or how they were born. And people that at some point were made slaves, that's what they were supposed to be and should be like that forever. So mm -hmm. they, that, yeah, that's like their logic that if you got to be something that's what you should be forever that's partially why they don't like you there because you were born to be a woman and you're not supposed to be in a in a ship now you okay. asked about uh people that are similar to you like in attitude right yeah more similar to the crew yes more like either cheerful or that they look like they are not um agreeing with the way that sir Mar marlin's crew Marion, I think. Marine. Yeah, Marion. <laughs> so Marion is true. Yes. Okay, actually, the main crew of this ship is the one that is not similar to Sir Marion. They are the ones that are less aggressive with you. They don't, like, join you to eat or something, but they don't do anything, actually. Just give you things, ask you things, say, repair that, do this, uh, show me how you're doing, things like that. The ones okay. that are a little bit more aggressive are the ones that seem to be from different crews or different ships. That okay. they're they are there for specific jobs. Okay, so this is their ship. This is not Sir Marion's ship per se. Like they are Doesn't here. look like it. Okay. I want to look for the other boat trains from this crew if there are any. Okay, how are you going to do that? I'm going to for whatever task I'm doing right now, I'm going to just like stop a moment and I want to look around mm -hmm. to see if there is anyone else doing any kind of repairment. It doesn't have to be like a sewing, but it could be like either cleaning or just making sure that things are in their place. That's what I'm, I'm looking for. 
it doesn't seem to be others doing that. As I mentioned, they it doesn't look like they care about this the state of the ship. Poor ship. <laughs> during during all this time, I'm going to be saying like, poor ship. They don't treat you well. Like, whatever I'm cleaning or doing, if I'm whatever I'm doing, I want to say that like aloud not screaming but i don't mind if anyone hears me like oh poor sheep look the state that you are in they don't take care of you and i'm going to be cleaning and so in whole look at your sales or things they are altered cleaning don't worry i'm going to take care of you as best as i can and keep sewing all right that was your first day the second day is pretty much the same and at the end of the day they tell you that the next day you're going to fix the hammocks. This is the first time that you will be on the shared section to sleep because so far you've been sleeping on a specific room that you your three are. Mm -hmm. So you will have the chance to see maybe them alone or maybe their things if they have any. All right. The night goes as usual. You join Bo and Balu to eat. Uh, they talk a little bit more about their lives what they are planning to do or their questions they have about this mission. And the next morning you say goodbye and you go to the deck. Then they, they instruct you where to go and you go to the second, okay. uh, the lower deck, sorry. Hi. There are the hammocks hanging. And then in a corner, there are a bunch of hammocks on the floor. So the first thing you will have to do is to untangle them and then repair them. It's going Hi. to take you all day. However, <laughs> If I remember <laughs> the handbooks are in, they are similar to the ones that I've used. It is should be fun. <laughs> I found it entertaining when I was with it too. And then when you say that, they say, hmm, maybe we should keep her. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so I'm not make going my... to make you play this section. It, it's not really that interesting. However, let's make two fortune checks uh, looking for those conversations that you're interested in. Okay. Kissing one six. No way. <laughs> I'm going to six. Really? Yeah. Nice. All right. Um, and the second one? And two. Okay. So you are there. You hear them uh, go and sleep a little bit. Then you, they, go, they go back. A few conversations. Really nothing that interesting. However, at some point, you hear them mention several times what seems to be a name. It's two of those that seem to be from the main crew of the ship, and they are whispering in their hammocks. Mm -hmm. So you hear they mention a name. Yes. Yes. You really don't hear that, but whenever they mention, and you understand that this is a name because they say said uh, or has that said, things like that. However, they do try to whisper the name. You move a little bit closer, trying to figure out what that is, maybe get information that is going to be helpful for you. And at some point, you hear them saying that they are tired of this crew, that they are tired of, of having to share the ship with, with people that are not with them, that are not part of the same thing, that they even suspect some of them are against the... Um, how can we say it, group or the cause or their goal. Okay. And I uh -huh. want to like look, I want to try to uh, capture their images of these two people that are talking, like super subtle. Um, I don't want them to see me. I that I'm looking at them, trying to check them out to make sure who they are. I want so to you're going their... to pick? Yes. Okay. Let's try and see if you can do that quietly. Oh, okay. Um, remember, <laughs> I don't have water chat. However, I have a my drink of choice for tonight. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> Thank you, Maratra. And um, so will you be doing that with um well celerity i guess it has yes. to be on your celerity has to be okay nine all right it has to be below seven yes okay 
you mm -hmm. you manage to do that. So you pick a little bit. You really cannot see their faces. They are giving. Uh, they are showing your their backs at you. Sorry. Um, mm -hmm. and what you notice it's a like brownish vest. Okay. Of one of them, and the other has very 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 coily hair. Okay. So very curly, very coily. A lot of them, very small. I have right. a bad case of <laughs> Provecho Alexanam. He's saying that he has a, a bad case of Maldu pork. Ooh, so you nice. hear that and um let me see. you throw it twice and only got one, right? Yes. So that's what you hear. Mm -hmm. Now if you want, we can try and see if you're able to hear the specific name, but that's the general idea of the conversation. That uh they don't like sharing the the ship that they are tired of these deals that they have to make. And they hope that this person that they are mentioning several times uh, acts, act, gets to action soon. That That's the word. Yes. Now that I know that they are talking about a specific uh, person, I do want to make another fortune check to make sure, to try to see if I, if I can hear that name. Okay. Um, Go why ahead. don't I have a, a coin with me? One six. I promise. I promise. <gasps> oh, <laughs> wow! You're my lucky dice. <laughs> That's nice. You you have to give the dice a, a the die a gift or something. Uh, whatever is the opposite of the the of jail the for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So you are really interested in this, and you try to pay attention. You even close your eyes just to nothing else can distract you and you hear it in the last sentence they say well the one with coily hair says well i know you're tired i'm tired too however we cannot push it she knows what she's doing i mean that's a, why we we follow her right yeah you're right says the one with the vest you're right the tigress knows what what she's doing I just wish we didn't have to deal with all this. Well, get some rest. Uh, try not to get into a fight with them. We're about to to dock. <clears throat> and the one with coily hair gets up and goes to the other deck. The other one is going to go to sleep. And really, after that, you don't have a lot of interactions with them. Mm. Uh, the next day, very, very early, you are awakened up by a loud noise on the door and they tell your your friends well Balu and Bo that they are leaving uh, you join them to the deck and they you see them go away in a boat they wave at you and maybe before that you exchange a few words like oh we will see each other soon something like that you know that your captain and your ship is going to be there close mm -hmm. so you really don't feel worried about uh, parting ways. You're not sure how they're going to join you or the other way, but you know it's going to happen. You see them leave. The ship is going to stay there for about 45 minutes to an hour, just waiting. And at some point, since you don't have anything to do at that moment, it's very, very early. You don't usually, you're usually asleep right now. However, you stay awake after you see them leave. Uh, you're just looking at the horizon, maybe seeing the island that is going to receive you and where you have to fulfill your mission. And after this time, the boat comes back, only one person, <laughs> only one person, and you realize something funny. This guy oh. is not wearing shoes. This got your eye because it's hard not to have shoes. However, you're not sure if he had when he left so you just ignore it however mm -hmm. and tell me if you want to go to work now or stay i want to stay for a moment still since it's not my working time yet i want to, to stay here okay so he climbs up they help him pull the the boat they part of the crew they they start working on that the other the others start to move and you notice after a few minutes that the ship is starting to move they lower the sails so the air can help you move and you're starting to get to the the 
airport and he gets there, arranges a few things on his clothes, starts talking to someone and you see him very upset when it, what it, when he's talking to this person ah, rah, 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 rah. and at some point he is turning his head and he sees you and you see rage in his face he starts coming at you you crazy people how dare you yeah you're going to pay for them he's going to grab you from your shirt you can do something right now yes i want to just like slap his yes. okay so let's do a defensive check with celerity, please. Come on. I heard four. I said one. What's what's going on here? <laughs> it's in my my. Oh. <laughs> All right. I I got a ten since it's celerity it needs to be under minus two eight my number but with modifiers. Okay. Um. So you're able to do that. And right at that moment, the, the guy that you heard talking last night, the one with coily hair, he said, hey, what's going on with you? We said not touching them. Well, their friends robbed me. They took away my things. What, what things? do you mean they robbed you? They said that the captain told them to it, but that's not true. The captain wouldn't do that. Or your captain has betrayed us. Now he's talking to the that guy with coily hair. And the one with coily hair is very upset as well. So they start arguing on whoever did what first. You realize that the tension you heard about last night is really, really uh, on the surface. <laughs> I want to go towards this person that uh, that said that my my crew robbed me. Why? Why would they rob you? What's it? What are you talking about? They they wouldn't they rob me. They are crazy, just like you, doing uh, whatever on, things. On, on. You're traitors. Traitors? Traitors to the words what? Oh, you know very well what. <sighs> anyway, I hope you all die, and he goes away. Uh, <laughs> the one with uh coily hair, he stays a little bit with you, and he says, "Uh, just, just get to work." Uh, you felt for just a few seconds that he was that he wanted to talk to you, but then he just thought about it and kept going. Uh, you are not going to have a lot of things to do today. Uh, mm -hmm. You have already fixed whatever you can do on your own. There are a few other things to repair, but they tell you not to worry about it. They will do it once they talk. Mm -hmm. After several hours, you are just there. Maybe you sleep a little bit finish whatever you had pending from the hammocks last night and at some point you feel the movement of the ship talking you hear noises you hear a lot of movement boxes being dropped and then uh, very heavy steps uh, in the deck and at mm -hmm. some point you go up you assume it's time for to leave and effectively they are most of them are gone okay i want to look for the person with the coil hair the hair coil hair that was arguing with this other foot not foot this um shoeless person <laughs> this poor guy he only had those shoes <clears throat> all right so... and toothpicks <laughs> and toothpicks that's right um okay how are you going to look for him first i'm going to uh once that in the main deck, I want to keep walking close to the uh boarding, the boarding area, mm -hmm. and I want to see either if he's now on on land or if he stays on or if he's still on the ship. All right, you cannot find him. In it. I want to look for. Um, there should be many people with brown coats. I want to. <laughs> To look for someone with a brown coat. Yeah, you see a few. However, the one with the vest is not there. All right. Most of the people that are left on the ship are the ones from that doesn't seem to be from the same crew. Okay. Uh, I want to look for the shoeless bird one. Yeah, you see him. Okay. I want to go towards him. 
I know that we do not get along. I know that whatever you, uh, my friends, my my crewmates, uh, you say that they rob you. But I want to know who gave you the order to take them to the shore. I want to. Uh, I'm already there. Why? What am I thinking? I I don't look for him. I just see him. And I squint my eyes towards him, and I'll go towards the boarding area. I want to to go down. Since you approach him, like he, <laughs> oh, you're there. All right. Um. So you're. You you don't say anything like that. You just go there, and then you're going to leave, right? Ah, oh, you're yes. there. Okay. So how you want to get there? He tells you. Uh, I'm not sure how what are the ways that I can get there oh come on just some I mean okay so uh Sir Marin said that you could be inside of one of the boxes and we can drop you off however the guys are not going to to go up there until later today it's too early they want to drink we can see you at the tavern and there we can get you into one of the the wood boxes whether or not you survive inside that thing is not my problem okay so it's only the option to go in a box, correct? I don't know. You can walk. You have feet. You have shoes. I do have shoes. And I look towards this. Thing. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm just waiting for the last boxes. I'll see you at the tavern. All right. I'll see you there. Uh, are there many taverns here or is there a specific one? How the hell should I know? I don't know. You're... Tell me to go to a tavern. To which tavern? There should be many. I mean, at Thanks least in my town, there was more than one tavern, you know? And it was a, well, a smaller town. I have no idea. It's probably called something, Tigress something. Everything's called Tigress here. Tigress here, Tigress there. They have no brains. All right, then I'll see you in the tavern. And I'll go just... Try to go toward the boarding area. Say, would he be saying that everything is called pirate? Why there isn't a specific way to distinguish which tavern? Come on, people! You say that people don't have brains. Now we'll be going down. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so you go down. You uh start walking towards the town. I guess yeah, more like a town. It's uh in front of you. You have a crescent moon. And half of it has ships docked uh, in different states, different sizes, some with people, some just like uh, the guards there. Some are really empty and actually some seem to be abandoned. You're not really sure. You continue walking. You see some people walking around carrying boxes. You do notice uh, some of the, the guys from the ship. You mm -hmm. recognize them. However, they are not really paying attention to you. They're, again, carrying boxes or walking towards specific buildings. All right. You have the option to just look and see what you find. Or the other thing that you know that you know is that the house you're looking for is on the top. Okay. From what I'm seeing, can I see, like, the mount or, like, a little mount that the house is at? Or is that something that I would have been able to to see it from the ship. Um yes, you can you cannot see the house, you can see the mountain and you can see like a, a mountain that goes up and then it's flat. It's weird, but it's flat. You assume that's where it is. All right. I want to I don't want to go to the tower yet. I don't think but I, I will look for, a, I don't know, a, a little marketplace or... Okay, so uh, where you are and when you were looking at it from the ship, um, the side of the island that mm -hmm. you're looking at looks like two fingers. Okay. So here, where it's my hand, mm -hmm. would be the the, the part where, where it's the house, sorry. Oh, okay, okay. And then here, one of my fingers has jungle all over Ooh. and you know that you're coming from that side so where mm -hmm. you drop or where they drop your friends were on that side then you kept going around and here is where you docked okay. here between my fingers would be the crescent moon okay and the other finger oh. has the the town partially built in 
the amount. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now I, I understand. Okay, I'll want to go near to the people that are main of the crew. All right. I want to see if I recognize one of the people that brought us to the ship. You want to go to, sorry? To look for, like just with my eyes, mm -hmm. to see if I can find someone, some of the people that brought us, like Bo, Valu, and me, mm -hmm. to the ship, like the one from uh, Silmarians. Silmarians, okay. The ones that you recognize are still in the ship moving boxes. Okay. I suppose those are the boxes that they told me about. All right, let's see. What can we do? If I have to wait, I better look for something to do. I think I'll go to the near the jungle, like just close, getting closer to the jungle to see. All I'm right. Not sure if I would be able to see my, my crewmates here, but it doesn't hurt anyone to look for them. Okay, so you wouldn't be able to see them because you yeah. would have to uh, go over and cross the mountain. It would take you half of the day. Oh, yeah. Okay, no. <laughs> I just want to... Have you had, like, this idea that you know it's not going to be possible for you? Like, meh, it doesn't matter to just go there, like, in the... where the jungle starts. Just there, in the, in the grass, like. Well, this I want to look around and oh god, I don't want to go to the tavern yet, but I'll go to the tavern. Okay, <laughs> it's okay if you don't want to go to the tavern. You can go somewhere else. No, but I can eat up there. I want to keep hearing things. That's true. So you come around to the other side of the crescent moon, and you see a few places where people are like sitting down outside and eating and drinking you see several taverns none of them has the name that that you got uh, or that they mentioned some of them uh, don't even have a sign just you people getting in and you see them eating they see them you see them drinking most of the buildings that are on um, like the first line of buildings are warehouses okay hi but I just keep walking. I I really don't pay that much of attention to to okay. any of these warehouses. You want to go inside or like entering the town or just walk around on the same line? I want to go in the town. I okay. want to enter. So there is one main street we could say that goes pretty much in a straight line towards what you where you assume is the house you cannot see it from there but again you assume because it's really flat mm -hmm. um and then uh are a few other big or well smaller streets but that you can also walk okay i'll go to the main street okay you start walking there's people in general doing their activities no one is actually paying attention to you whenever you cross by you really don't um stand out you can see other women there that that's not a problem in general just people doing their business you do notice a lot of boxes and people moving things around you see a guy that is putting some of those barrels and boxes inside of a um One second, I forgot the name. Car uh, that is pulled by horses and it has wheels. Um, Chariot. Yes, that. Thank you. <laughs> they are putting boxes <laughs> in barrels there, and they are like getting the the yes, like number. But I forgot the word in English. Um, <laughs> uh, they are starting to get the horses ready. Okay. Yes, a Ferrari. You see a Ferrari <laughs> there as well. <laughs> oh, nice. Good. I have never seen one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it comfortable? <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll go near there and mm -hmm. I'll try 
I'm going to keep looking for people that I recognize from the ship, either from my crew or for the crew that, or for the mini crews that are in that other ship. Okay. So far, no luck. If you want, we can try your actual luck. You can try with the lucky dice. One in six. Let me. Five. While you're looking for them, you start to get uh, more and more inside of the town. You actually got to like a small market. They have fish, they have some vegetables, they have uh, some like pots and clothing, several things, a few barrels of uh, alcoholic drink that you're not sure of what it is. However, you smell it when you're passing <clears throat> through and you think, hmm, Balu would like this. You keep walking unless you tell me something different. You keep walking uh, and you start to get to this section that is actually for living only. A right. few stores, you see a few... Uh, Maybe taverns, you think? Again, more stores, but then houses. Just the buildings are smaller and, well, they are not that tall. They are a little bit longer, but not so tall. You see children walking around or just there when you pass through and, and you see that the door is open and you can see a kid just lying there in the heat. <laughs> uh, I know how that feels. <laughs> I would like to, once that I'm entering these houses, I would like to say, okay, maybe I think I went too far and this is not what the tavern is. And I will go back. While I'm going back, I want to check my pockets. And may I do a fortune check? I want to see if I have some coins because I want to buy some, to value a little bit of the <laughs> strong alcohol that I smell. <laughs> Let's see, actually, look, please. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Let's let's do that. See if you had any. No, no luck. Okay, so no, you did. You you forgot to bring anything with you when you left the ship. <laughs> That's not coins. a good idea. <laughs> you and... keep walking, and you see, uh, there's a tavern that caught your eye. Uh, okay. This tavern has the name Tigress there. Hmm. Okay, that's really it an interesting. Tigress. When you approach, you notice that actually it says uh, the Tigress then. And okay. it's painted in on top of uh, something else. You cannot really see what the original sign was, but it's obvious that that wasn't the original name. Okay, I want to go into the tigress then. And the door is closed. Like not with lock, but there's a door. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to peek through the windows if there are any. There are a few windows, however, they are very dirty from the inside. You cannot see clearly. It's very blurry. However, you do see lights. Well, candlelight, and you hear when you approach there, you hear voices, you hear a little bit of music. So it's safe to say that this is either a tavern or something like that. Okay, it looks like it's open. I'm going to open the door. Okay, you push it. I push it. All right, you it's push full. the door. <laughs> yeah, it was a pole, so no. You push the door a little bit, and then when you are around about half, of the door, uh, there's a face that appears. It's very, very tall. So it's first the face, then the shoulders, and then the rest of the body. How can I help you? It's a very big guy. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you are the only player, so you don't have to put your hand up if you want to speak. Right now, it's your solo adventure. <laughs> Sorry, I'm good. All right. I said, hi. Um, sorry, I was looking for a tavern. My crew told me to meet them there. Mm hmm. We have several taverns. Yeah, that's what I told them. I know there should be more than one. That shoeless person. Okay. Sorry, could you please tell me where are the most famous or the uh, easier access. Do you tavern? need something from here? 
and he starts to to push the door. Yes, I'm looking for my crewmates. I'm so sorry. Uh, can I wait for them here? Okay, give me a second. Let me roll the emotion die. Let's see. Uh, uh, all right. I don't know who you're looking for. And he opens the door. Let me know if they are here. Hi. I want to look for them. I, w I want to look for someone that I recognize here. Hey. Just trying to look for them. Are you here? Mm, do uh, do a um, perception check, sorry. I check. It has to be over. Yes, over. You got it? Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. In the back. Give me just one second. All right. Um, in the back near the uh bar, you see the back of this guy with coily hair. You recognize the back is the same that you were spying on. So you you see him. All right, I'm going to say, hi. Yes, I I I you see someone that I recognize from the ship that I'm at. Uh, may I please go to talk to them? So he, would that uh, be a problem? turns his head there he recognizes someone oh, oh i am i'm so sorry I'm, this is terrible i am so sorry just 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 go inside please please don't tell i mean I, I didn't mean to stop you and he opens the door and, and gets away from from your path i i am truly truly sorry i no, sometimes no, 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 i, the, I the, forget the, the faces door, the... probably i've seen you here a million times no i, I have never been here to worry i just need to ask something to, to one of the guys that I'm with uh, so, so sorry no, don't, don't need to apologize don't worry it happens to me as well all the time <laughs> Th thank you thank you let me know if there's anything else we can do for you no no, no don't worry that, that, that's okay don't, don't worry I try to say this that this is so important allies are so important and here you are and he's not talking to you anymore and here you are stopping the ones that want to help and while you should be fighting the others he closes the door <laughs> what's wrong with you I'll go towards a guy with the coiling. <laughs> I know that kind of dog, and I will like, no, don't worry. And I will go towards the guy with the coiling hair. Okay. I will. You're just going to walk straight to him or do anything? I want to try to walk like to be on his side i don't want to like interrupt him i want to make sure that they see me before i i just show up like right behind them i want to if they are like here i want to go this so they would be able to to see me before call me <laughs> towards him okay like, okay what is that? Like, hi so, sorry to interrupt you hear that they are talking, but they are talking with low voices. And when you approach and speak, they startle and they jump. Hey, what do you want? So, uh, sorry. The guy with, with coily hair recognizes you. What are you doing here? How did you get in? Oh, I was looking for the other guys of the, this crew, of Mr. Uh, Sir Marion's crew. But I they have... don't get inside here. They oh, are not allowed. That... Oh, good. Do you know in which tower will they be at? They just told me to go to a tavern, and I have... Yeah, yeah, they will be uh, in whatever cheap, uh, dirty place they find. Oh, there should be many here. All right. So... They are all looking at you. There are, like, five guys. The one with coily hair, the one with the brown vest, and all the other three that you maybe saw on the ship, maybe not. You're not sure. All right. I will say, uh... Sorry to throw again. Would you mind if I wait for the time to come to for me to go meet them in the tavern? I really don't know a lot about this town and I would like to do my part as as fast as I can. Look, girl, we, we appreciate what you did with ourselves and everything, but aren't you supposed to be in an important mission? 
Yes, and they told me to wait until late today. Okay, give me a second. Let me... Look, I don't care about your mission. I don't care about them. I did my part of this freak damn deal. Just go away. Hi. I want to go away. And I'll stay in the middle point between the door and them. Just right behind them. I don't want them to see me. Okay, so if you want to hide, you will have to do a uh, celerity check, I guess. Yeah, celerity. Let's try that. Yes. Let's try going and I'll kind of hide. You got it. You got it? Yes. Okay. Wow. All right. So you just started to move. And at that point, another, another guy approached the bar. So you used that distraction and you hid behind him. What do you want to do? I want to eavesdrop again. <laughs> I want to. I really got curious about the divers that they were mentioning. Uh, as long as they are against the Sir Marion side and the British, I don't. I really would like to know a little bit more about that. Okay. Um. So let's do a reason check, and yeah, reason check. I was thinking if there was something else, but no. Got it. Wow. All right. <laughs> they are going to drop them there. Um. That's this is what you hear. They are going to drop them there, but I don't want the the. I don't want all of them to go alone. So we we should have someone else going there. Um now that I see this girl, maybe we can use that as a as a I don't know the the reason to go there. Um maybe for the fence, maybe maybe in another guy says we can say that it's part of the deal. We can say that they asked us to go uh uh to go with them to make sure they get there well that's not a bad plan but and then what if we only send one of us well if you are hearing several people just saying different ideas well maybe maybe we don't have to fight them just see what's going on and then report to the tigress whatever they are planning because i know they are planning something we all know Yes, we, we all know. That's, I mean, why are they coming more and more to us lately? They are planning something. All right. Oh, if okay, you're not okay. doing anything else, let's do another celerity check because the guy that you use as a shield is gone. So let's see if they, okay, they don't see you. <laughs> you're somehow invisible. This is also tiny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, do I see anyone leaving the tavern? Or, I want to, while I'm eavesdrop, I want to keep looking towards the door to see if anyone is going to enter or anyone is going to leave. You're not close, so you wouldn't be able to tell if someone is going to enter. You're not close to the door. Uh, but yeah, if you want to just wait up there a few, <sighs> they are saying that it's not that you're impossible, that you are very good using your sigilio. <laughs> yes. Um, I... so yeah, if you want to wait just uh, after a few minutes, you stop paying attention to the conversation. You try to pay attention to people and you see that a uh, few guys are just standing up and starting to go towards the door. Okay, I'm going to use that as, as well as event as uh, distraction to go like with this group of people that are just going down, like maybe two or three people, and just take that because I don't want it to see me leaving. Okay, so okay. let's do a okay. This is going to be hard, so you are going to have this advantage because okay. the guys that are living are not near you where you are. So you would have to uh, be 
careful going towards them. And then once you're with that group, you might be able to, to escape without being seen. Okay. Let's do that. Disadvantage. Okay, I got my number with modificators. Okay. How many checks do I have to do? No, you have plus two. Damn it, I got a 10 then. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, you start walking and you feel like you escaped. You are almost getting to that group and then you feel a hand in your shoulder. So you kept listening and he pulls you towards him. He turns you around and it's one of the guys that were, uh, the one with the, the brown vest. So you kept listening. I just Who are was... you? Who sent you? Mm, Siphon. I'm part That of... doesn't say anything to me. Are you famous? No. Um, with the captain. The crew that sent us to go and... Why are you here? Why are you spying on us? I'm not spying on you. I was just taking a rest before I can look for the tavern, the cheapest tavern that I can find to go with that other crew. Okay, let's do a fortune check. Lucky six. <laughs> What's wrong with... Okay. He is starting to uh, use a little oh. bit more force with his. I totally forgot that I have actually a plus one in force too. Wow. <laughs> so the die knows it even if you don't use it from your sheet. <laughs> so he's starting to, uh, to tighten his grip on your shoulder. It's starting to hurt. And then you hear, hey, 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 well, Whatever happens, she knows the plan. She's coming with me. I know them. They, they. She's not a spy. You're not a spy, right, lady? No, I'm not. Are you with us? No, she's not. She's here to do whatever they were sent out to do. We don't care. All right. All right. So you're coming with me. Okay. He grabs you from your your arm and he starts working towards towards the door. The other guy just lets you go but you can feel his eyes behind <laughs> you following <laughs> you to the door and even after you leave the tavern <laughs> you can almost feel his eyes through the window just looking at you <laughs> all right so i have no idea who you are however you were sent to what are you supposed to do here uh we're going to pick up uh we're going to rescue a girl that got captured or that we don't they, do those no. kinds of things. If you're trying to rescue a slave, you should go to the dungeons. Oh, no, we're not going to rescue a slave. It's an important person. We so got, you're a messenger. We could say that if the message is a person and she's seen in another house and we need to pick her up. Yes. In that case, yes, I'm a messenger. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go with you because we don't trust those guys, as you already heard. And while he's saying this, he's guiding you through the town. And he's walking really, really fast. He has you on your arm. So you're like being almost flying on the on the <laughs> behind him. So as you know, we don't trust these guys, but I, I don't know. I trust you. You're you're a good lady. I, I, I like what you did to our my hammock, by the way. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, I'm glad. So you're going to be in a barrel. Now, I know that this is dangerous and you don't trust these guys. Other way, you wouldn't be here with us spying. Uh, I'm not saying you're trying to spy, but you were you were listening to our conversation. Uh, so I'm going to be there and you're going to tell them that I was sent with you. OK, All right. if something happens, if they try, for example, to nail the barrel with a, a lead, I am going to help you. OK. Let's go. Those guys either. <laughs> so you get to remember this guy that you saw uh, putting barrels and boxes mm -hmm. in in a chariot. Chariot. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he uh he's already gone, but there in the same area, you actually notice another tavern. It's not very 
friendly. You, If you notice that when you were walking, you wouldn't want to get inside that tower. However, you notice this guy, the one without shoes, he already has shoes, by the way. They are obviously not their si his size, but he now has something on his feet. <sighs> there you are. Okay, get inside. They have several boxes and they have one barrel. It's open. Okay, I'll... What is this but... guy doing? What are you doing here? I'm with her. Yes, he's coming with me. Do we, we only prepared one barrel. What's going on here? He'll uh, be with us. He's part of the plan. Weren't you informed about that? Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> well, part of the plan is that he comes with me and you take us there. And we meet the, uh, let's go, uh, we meet our crew thing, our crewmates there. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, let's do an instinct check. Yay, my phantom. <laughs> I give up. Just just tell the story already. No, I'm just kidding. And then we go. Oh. I don't oh, know. We we'll rescue her. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh okay, but I don't have another another barrel. These things are expensive. I, I'm not wasting yeah. it on you. You get inside the barrel, they put the lid on, but they don't nail it. So if you're able to go out, you actually make the attempt a few times just to be sure. Uh, one of the times you do it, this guy that is going with you is, <laughs> don't worry, I'm here with you. They're not going to do anything. I'm just here to uh, make sure nothing wrong happens. That includes you. And you feel the carrot moving below you. It's very uncomfortable. You are already used to the movement of the ship, of the waves. It got time to, 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 it took time to get used to that. However, you already know. And, <laughs> and, um, sorry, I, I, she sent me a message about, uh, the, this joke from El Rose Dorado. to El Dorado. Mm -hmm. uh, on the count of three, go outside of the barrels. <laughs> so maybe that happens. We don't know. You start to feel inclination on the ground. How? Because you get pushed by the gravity and then you feel a few boxes hitting your barrel. It's very uncomfortable. You don't get any damages, but it's very uncomfortable. At some point, uh, you hear voices, you hear conversation, but it actually takes about around two hours to get there. The floor is uh, more and more inclined, and at some point it gets flat and then again inclined. When you are about to fall asleep, you hear on the background very, very far, but maybe not far enough to be safe or to feel comfortable, you hear like a maybe a tiger, or maybe something like a very, very big cat roaring at the distance. You are still inside the barrel. The, you hear the guy that is supposed to be watching, uh, snoring. <laughs> and then after a few more hours, you actually fall asleep. And after a few more hours, the sudden, um, suddenly there's another movement that wakes you up. And they you hear uh, foot, footsteps coming towards you. They get the lid off and they say, you get off here. All right, I'll try to go out of the of the barrel. You look around, and there's jungle around you, very thick. It's very very dark, and when you get out of the chariot, you see that the path continues going up, and then after maybe walking forty minutes, there's light. Okay. So you assume that's your destination. You uh, get you are already out. And when you're trying to look around, trying to find what is going on, you realize that you don't see the, the guy with the funny voice. He's not around. Uh, All right. The, the guy girl. that... Uh -huh. it, where is the guy that I was with? Uh, oh, he's on the other on the other one. Yeah. Okay. So on the your other friends... One, on the other one, she, don't worry. So I do worry. Yeah. He's supposed to be with me. 
All right, lady, we know that he's not with you. He is with me. That's why he was here in the chariot with me. If I was wasn't... told three of you would get to the house. You are in the house. The house is there. He points at the light. I'm not taking you with me because they are going to check on our merchandise. In I'm the not asking for you to take me with you. I know that I need to go and find my crewmates. But where is the guy that I was with? He's sleeping. He has very, very heavy sleep. I, I heard him snore, but I don't see him here. Where is he? <laughs> Lady, I don't care. I don't know. Okay, I was guiding the horses. Now I took you out of the 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 barrel thing, and now you're supposed to leave. And he starts to walk towards the horses. You have to find your friends. Um, uh, I guess they should be here soon. All right, but didn't you fail where he left out? Was he here? Maybe he got off when he saw you sleeping safely. He's getting to the chariot and he starts to move the horses. Ah. And you are left <laughs> and you are left in complete darkness. I want Around to take you... a rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you throw the rock, it hits one of the barrels. Nothing else really. Around you it's uh the jungle, darkness. You can see the the where you assume is the house when he where he pointed out. You start walking using the path that's there. And at some point, you decide that maybe you should hide. They left you behind for a reason. And you start to approach the side of the jungle. However, you don't like it. It's very, very dark. You really don't know how to move in, in that kind of terrain, let's say. So you kept, keep walking on the same road. At some point, you get to a fence, a very tall fence. You try to to access through the the, the spaces. Or yes, the... through the spaces. Thank <laughs> you. What's wrong with my brain today? You try to get through, but you cannot. So okay. you can try to climb it, or you can try to go around. I'll try to go around. All this time, I want to be looking around to see if I can find him. I can find him. I'm really worried that he's not around <laughs> because he said that he was going here with me. You don't see him. There's no one. Maybe something, but not a person around. Did so you... tell me, are you going to go left or right? Let's go left. Okay. Last time I went into a really small place, I went to the left, but let's keep trying. You said the left, right? Yes. Okay, so you start going to the left. You start walking next to the fence. Uh, at some point, uh, it's not a fence anymore. It's a wall, and then again a fence, and then a wooden fence with spikes, and then again fence, then wall. You walk and walk, and at some point, you hear, shh, shh, shh. And then a, a little bit of movement in the, the leaves. I want to... Do you want to stop? I want to stop for a moment. I want to pay attention to the noise. And I want to keep walking towards that place. But I want to do it uh, like as quiet as I can. Okay. You keep going. But you keep uh, walking I... towards the noise or uh, around the fence? Towards the noise. Okay. Uh, you see like a small path on the floor, but there are a few leaves and branches, maybe trying to cover that. That's where you saw the movement. I want to go like beside it. Like I want to go around this place with with uh, leaves and branches because I want to see what's behind it. Okay, you will have to go through the vegetation plants and bushes and you will make some noise. I'll do it. I'll try to be as quiet as a, as my dice. Okay, let's let's see what the dice says. And it has my fatum. Oh my <laughs> I officially want to declare that all that happened today. <laughs> oh my God, 
<laughs> you were supposed to die. Okay, so you somehow managed to like jump by, uh, sorry, um, next to this noise and you start to climb like a very, very thick branch that's kind of on the floor, kind of floating. And when you sneak and you peek your head, you see Bo and Balu. They are hiding and they are covering where they are with some branches and they are just trying to find what was making the noise next to the fence. I will say, hi, Bo. They are going to jump and turn around and we will see the next part of this conversation and this encounter next week. Yay! <laughs> Congratulations to whoever voted for you to find your your crew members, your friends. There were a few mean uh, participants that voted that you were not going to find them. Also, I'm not I going to say tab. names. <laughs> but I will <laughs> want to say <laughs> and I will know. <laughs> So 88% said yes, you were able to. 13% say no. Uh, so congratulations Yay. to the winners. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. Thank you thank you for joining Saifen in her solo adventure going through the town and, and meeting new people. Let's see what happens next week. Let's see if they are able to find the, the governor's daughter, if they're able to find Saifen's new friend and whatever they find inside the house. All right, let's, <laughs> no? Okay, I'm sorry. I think our creative director is sending another messages. No, I, I guess it's related to the, the beating or something. <laughs> so next week we have a technoplate on Friday, mixed message. <laughs> We have a turn to on Friday. We have also streaming on Saturday and Sunday. So stay tuned to see what's going to happen with Siphon, Bo, and Balu. Thank you so much for joining and may your checks be always critical. Thank you.